Hey now, this is Glenn Hoffman from 3D Squared. Today we're going to discuss everything you need to know about decorative acoustic panels. Specifically, we'll review why you need acoustic panels, the different types of decorative acoustic panels, and finally, we will explain the concept of image resolution. I know you can't wait, so let's get started. So why exactly do we need acoustic panels? In an untreated room, sound waves will bounce off of the hard surfaces. The sound waves linger in the room and this causes an echo effect. So the goal is to diminish the time the sound stays in the room. Let's add a series of acoustic panels to the room. The acoustic panels will absorb the sound waves. This will significantly cut down on the time that the sound lingers in the room, which translates to no echo effect and better clarity of the dialogue. Now that we have a better understanding of why we need acoustic panels, we'll now discuss the different types of decorative acoustic panels. We could wrap the acoustic panels with either a pre-made fabric or a print. The fabrics are purchased off the rack. They come in a variety of colors and textures. And basically, they offer a subtle and clean look to your overall design concept. Here is an example of some panels in a conference room. They offer a nice, clean, professional look for that room. For the prints, we can break those down into art, photos, or posters. You can replace any piece of art in any room with a decorative acoustic panel. Art can be purchased from a royalty-free website or if you happen to know an artist, you could commission him to create a piece that we can scan in and place on the acoustic panel. Here at 3D Squared, we actually created a unique portfolio of art that was created specifically for acoustic panels. So if you're interested, please contact us about our portfolio. The most popular prints are movie poster reproductions. They are the perfect complement to your home theater decor. You can also have photographs reproduced on the acoustic panels. The photographs can be purchased from royalty-free sites, or if you know someone that takes amazing pictures, you can use their images, as long as the resolution is really good. And speaking of resolution, let's talk about that. Resolution is measured in pixels. The more pixels we have per square inch, the sharper the image will be. The image on the left only has 25 pixels per inch and you can see the jagged edges while the image on the right has 100 pixels per inch and it's a much sharper image. For magazines they target about 300 pixels per inch but for large prints like what we work with we target 100 pixels per inch so for a 27 by 40 inch movie poster the target would be 2700 by 4000. Try to avoid doing generic image searches on Google. The images will be too small and will not effectively create a great reproduction. Now it should be noted that just because a file is large it doesn't necessarily mean that it's sharp. Images taken from our cell phones may be pretty large these days, but they're very highly compressed and do not offer a sharp image that would make for a good reproduction. If you have any questions about image resolution, or any of the other items we discussed today, please don't hesitate to contact us at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your time and have a great day.